Hey, what's up? The IT guy here again in the third video on how to manage Hyper-V systems. Now, in the first video, I showed you how you can install Hyper-V on Windows 10. And in the second video, I showed you how you can create a virtual machine. In this third video, we are going to tweak the performance of the virtual machine a little bit. Now, don't go expecting any major changes to the performance of the machine. These changes are going to be minor. They are actually just allocating a little bit more resources to the virtual machine in order to give it a little bit more breathing space. Now, how do we go about this? First of all, of course, we need to open up our Hyper-V Manager. There we go. So to make the hardware changes to the virtual machine, you need to make sure that the virtual machine's operating system, the guest operating system, is already shut down. You have to do that within the operating system itself, and I'll show you why within a short moment. But as of now, our virtual machine is shut down. You can see that by the fact that the state is in the off state, and that means that the virtual machine is completely shut down and it's ready to make some changes in the settings. Now, how do we go about changing these settings in the virtual machine itself? Very easy, just go over to the virtual machine, click the right mouse button and go over to settings. And in this list, you can see a whole bunch of virtual hardware. We will need two of these options, first of which is the memory and the second is the processor. But let us start off with the virtual processors first. So over here you can change the amount of virtual processors. Now changing the amount of virtual processors in the virtual machine is probably going to have the most impact on the performance of the virtual machine. Now how do you know which number to assign to these virtual processors? Well first of all you need to open up your task manager to see how many physical cores your PC has. You can open up the task manager by doing control shift escape at the same time. Then the task manager will pop up and then go over to performance. And over here we can see that our machine has four physical cores. Now there's a lot of rules being thrown around on the ratio between the physical cores and the virtual cores. Some people say it's a one to one ratio, other people say it's an eight to one ratio. I use the one to one ratio because it's you know generally used. So we have four physical cores, we're gonna give the machine four virtual cores. So just close up the task manager and go over to the number of virtual processors and change that number to four and then hit apply. Now having done the processors, let's go over to the memory. So the memory over here, you can change the amount of memory. Basically this is the startup memory, this is the amount of memory the machine has when it starts up. This will not make as much of an impact as long as you have dynamic memory enabled. If you do not want to use dynamic memory, you can disable it over here and you can change the amount of memory the machine has to use over here. So there's one more thing to do. This thing will not really impact the performance at all, but it will give the machine a little bit more flexibility. So it will give a little bit more flexibility between the host operating system and the guest operating system, as it will allow the files from the host operating system and the virtual machine to be copied to each other, and also allowing to shut down the system from within the Hyper-V manager itself, which is a little bit easier than always having to go into the virtual machine's operating system and shutting it down from there. So to do that, just go over to the integration services and take this guest services box and then click apply. And that's all you need to do. Then just click OK and then we can start up our virtual machine. So our virtual machine is up and running. I had a decrease in boot time from 25 seconds to 15 seconds, a full-fledged 10 seconds decrease in boot time. I think that's quite worth your while. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please leave a like and if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!